So I first came across Runbo at an E3 event called The Mix in 2015. From the second I started playing, I knew the game was something special. I even gave it my Indie Game of the Show award that year. The game first launched on Wii U in 2015, and while I did love playing it on that platform, I'm happy Runbo is finally getting in front of a larger audience on the Nintendo Switch. So let me start this out by saying something bold. Runbo is a blast to play with friends, and it's simply a must-own party game. I've spent countless hours playing this indie darling on other platforms, and it feels right at home on Nintendo Switch. If you haven't heard of Runbo, then I'm glad you stumbled across this review because it surely deserves more recognition. Runbo is an on-foot racing brawler that is complete chaos. During gameplay, the background color will constantly change, and the platforms you jump on will appear and disappear based on their color. While playing with friends, the level hazards, enemies, and items call for a crazy time. It's so easy to betray a friend with an item, or make a sweet comeback and win by a hair. In other words, it's the type of game that will make you want to wring your friend's neck or bask in the glory of winning an intense match. One thing I love about Runbo is that it has similarities to one of my favorite game series of all time, Super Smash Bros. First off, Runbo features fan favorite characters from various video games and game series. It just might be the best indie guest roster out there. With guests like Shovel Knight, Hyperlight Drifter, and Juan from Guacamelee, there's something about seeing my favorite characters beat the crap out of each other that brings brings joy to my heart. Along with these characters, there are a bunch of costumes, concept art, and more to unlock. The game's controls also feel like a simplified version of Super Smash Bros. There's the double jump and then up B that we're used to in Smash, along with the down pound and a simple smash hits from left to right. Not only is the nine player multiplayer a blast, but there's even an adventure mode with surprisingly dicting platforming levels. When most people think of Runbo, they think of the multiplayer, but the game's single player content is actually brilliant. The levels are expertly crafted and take advantage of the color changing mechanic in fun and interesting ways. You have to learn the rhythm of the color changes and keep attempting to complete the level. Sooner or later you're able to perfectly time your jumps with the motion of the color swaps. And just when you think you understand everything the game has to offer, a new element is added to a level that turns the game on its head. Gaining 3 stars for each level is a ton of fun and it kept me wanting to come back over and over to try and get a better record time. As I said before, the game previously released on Wii U and if you want to watch a longer, more in-depth review of the the original game on Wii U, I will link it at the end of this video. Back in 2015, Eli had this to say. Overall, Runbo is easily one of the best indie titles currently on Wii U, and it's the single best local multiplayer game I have played on console. What really sets Runbo apart isn't just the multiplayer gameplay, but it's the plethora of modes, the innovative level design, charm, and overall gaming excellence. I couldn't have said that better myself. I've been playing Runbo since the game launched back on Wii U in 2015. To this day, it's rare a week goes by without me jumping into it and playing a couple multiplayer matches or working on my adventure scores. I'm so excited it's finally available on Nintendo Switch. A lot of indie titles have been thriving on Switch and I'm hoping Runbo does as well. If you're a fan of party games or unique platforming, Runbo is a must-play title and I cannot recommend it enough.